Let us understand how to describe end behavior of polynomial functions. I am Anil Kumar and here are some tips. Now when you have to describe end behavior, you have to look into two things. First thing is the leading coefficient. If the leading coefficient is positive, then we have right side up. And if leading coefficient is negative, then right side is down. So that is the first thing you have to look into. And second thing you have to look into is degree. If degree is even, then both same side. And if degree is odd, then both are in the opposite ends. So this helps us to actually write down the end behavior of a polynomial function, right? So for all these three cases, what you can do is figure out the sign of leading coefficient and the degree. Once you know that, you will know the end behavior, right? So you can pause the video, write down your answer, and then look into my suggestions. So what I will do here is that, let's say this is a coordinate plane for the three, I'll try to sketch the end behavior and then we'll write down here what the end behavior is. So for the first one, what is the leading coefficient? You are going to get leading coefficient when you multiply these x terms. Now in this case, two when you square it, it becomes 4x squared. This is x and this becomes x cubed, right? So the leading coefficient will be, this will be x cubed. This will be x and this is going to be 4x squared. So let's say what is a n. So I'm just writing a n is equals to how much? So basically 2x whole square times x times x cubed. And that gives me 4 x to the power of 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have a positive leading coefficient. That means right side is up. This is what I'm trying to say. Right side is up. And the degree of this leading, degree of this polynomial is 6. 6 is even, right? So degree is even. Both same side means that is the end behavior. Do you get the point? So if x approaches minus infinity or plus infinity, y approaches positive infinity, that is my answer. Do you see the end behavior? So if x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity. And if x approaches positive infinity, then y approaches positive infinity. So in both the cases, y approaches positive infinity. The function is like upwards, opening upwards, right? Let's look into the second example. Now here the leading coefficient a n. I'm writing a n, but I'm, I wrote x also. Anyway, I should have written the leading term. Okay. Now here it is x times, this is minus 3x, mind it. So be careful about this. And that one is x to the power of 5. So when I multiply all this, I get negative 3 x to the power of 5, 6, 7. Correct. So my leading coefficient is negative 3. Now since leading coefficient is negative, negative means right side down. So the end behavior is when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Now what is the degree? Degree is 7, which is odd. Now for odd degree, opposite ends means like this. Do you see that? Now that gives you the end behavior as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, and as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. You can clearly see that, correct? Now let's do the last one. Now in this case, the leading term, I should say actually leading term, okay, because I'm writing both coefficient as well as the x, right? So leading term is really what? x square okay and here will be 2x whole square so that is 
2 is 4 and x to the power of 2 plus 2 4 right so 4 we know this is positive right leading coefficient is positive that means right side up even even means both same side right so that becomes the end behavior and so we can write down if x approaches negative infinity y approaches positive infinity and as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity right so in this case also we have an end behavior which is both sides are facing upwards right so that is how by analyzing the leading term which gives you both the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial we can decide on the end behavior right so I like you to give some examples where the end behavior is is let that be an exercise so for one where the end behavior is kind of like this okay give an example where the end behavior is like this that means if x approaches negative infinity y approaches negative infinity as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity right so let that be an exercise for you thank you and all the best